Hello everyone. Today I will be I will be displaying a demo on the complete sales cycle between two apps, which is WooCommerce and MSNAV. I will be doing the respective process with some various data exchange points, and this entire process will be done through, of course, Appsy Connect. Now, Appsy Connect is a hybrid solution of an integration app. It has two major features, which are the cloud portal, that is uh, portal.appsyconnect.com, and the agent, which is being shown right here. So let's start with the cycle. I will be showing the data exchange points of customer download, item upload, stock upload, sales order download, shipment add upload, and invoice status add upload. Now you may be wondering what download and upload is. Basically downloading is whenever the data exchange occurs between an e-commerce platform and an ERP here, which is WooCommerce to our MS nav. And upload is when the data exchange occurs between the ERP to the e-commerce platform, which is MS nav to WooCommerce. So let's start the cycle. First of all, I will be going to WooCommerce and I will be creating a customer here, which is user. We'll go to all users. Going to add a new customer. Let's give it a, a name. You have to make this a customer, a new customer. Now I'm going to search that customer again so that I can insert the address of the respective customer. I'm going to select edit and I am going to give the address along with the company name. This was for customer billing address. Now, for customer shipping address, as it's going to be the same, I'm just going to select copy. And you can see that the whole thing has been copied. Now I'm going to update the user, and the respective user has been created. Let's see it again. Respective user has been created in our e-commerce platform, which is WooCommerce. So let's go back to our agent here, and I'm going to run the data exchange point of customer ad. So let's play it. Okay, so our touch point has completed its running. Now we're going to open our e-com ERP platform, which is MS Nav. And from customers, I'm going to search the respective customer name, which was Claire. You can see that it has been synced. So let's continue with the next step, which is creating an item for uploading from our ERP to our e-commerce. So I'm going to create an item here. Let's go to new. Gonna select finish and give it a number, which is 2044S. Let's give it a name. Let's give the name as stationary. Basic unit of stationary, I guess, would be kilograms, kg. Now the stars, as you can see, the starred field are mandatory fields. You can also do the fields that are not starred, but basically the mandatory you must do, so I'm going to do those. And 
and also the price. $15, okay, the price is $15. And also I need to enable the web item, enable web item visible and the web item flag. This is basically for Appsy Connect as you are using Appsy Connect for integration. And also you need to give the application ID of WooCommerce, which is six, as there's a communication between the ERP platform and the e-commerce platform. So they need to know what application ID is being used. So that's why it's six. So let's click OK. You created the item. Let's see it once more. You can see the item has been created. Let's open the agent. Let's go to the uploading touch points, data exchange points, and let's add the product. Okay, let's go to the e-commerce and go to products, all products. From all products, you can see that the first name is stationary. The thing that I just inputted, the SQ was, as I had said before, 02044S. So it's been synced. So let's move on to the next step, which is stock upload. Let's go to our ERP. And from this particular item that was just created, I'm going to upload its stock. Give the item name as 2044S. You can see it's stationary. Okay, I've posted it and I'm going and I'm going to select OK. So hopefully the item stock has increased. And now I'm going to run the touch point of stock update, which is an uploading process. Let's run it. As you can see, I had updated the stock to 50. So in my WooCommerce platform, let's go to our WooCommerce platform. And if I refresh it, stationery should have 50 items. See, let's, let's just bring that singly so you can be clearly seen. See stationery, it's in stock and it has 50. So let's continue with our next step, which is shipment add upload. It's supposed to be a sales order. Before I do the shipment, of course, I need to have a sales order. How can I do the shipment without it? So let's go to the order from WooCommerce, select order, and the customer that I created, I'm going to use this, that same customer, and also I'm going to use that same item that I created. So our customer name was Claire. So let's write Claire. I'm going to search Claire. It came up. All the addresses, billing, shipping, you can see has come. Let's add an item. The item was stationary as I had created. Let's add it. Okay, it's been added. Let's create the order. The order has been created and the order ID is 244. Now let's open our agent and let's go to the downloading touch points which is sales order add, and let's start the sync. Okay, 
Now let's look at our ERP. Let's go to sales order. From sales order, I'm going to search the sales to customer name, which was Claire. And you can see it has appeared. Let's open it once. See, the item stationery has been ordered. So our sales order has been downloaded. Next is the shipment and the invoice, which both are uploading data exchange. So first, let's go to post here. From here, we have ship and invoice. I'm gonna select OK. It has been shipped and invoiced. But when we run the data touch points, the data exchange points, as you call them, we should first do the shipment add. So let's start the sync now. Okay, the touch point of shipment add, which I had started, has completed. And let's go to our e-commerce platform, which is WooCommerce, and let's click the refresh. Now, when the shipment has been added, first it was payment pending. Now I can see that the status has become processed. Now when I add the invoice, the status will be completed. So let's go back to our agent and run the invoice status add data exchange point. So let's start the sync now. Let's go back to WooCommerce and refresh it. As you can see, the status has been completed. That means the order has been totally shipped and invoiced. So that's the complete sales cycle between WooCommerce and NAV. So thank you for watching the demo.